Well, I always believe in long-term projects because I think as a photographer, even though it's it's considered to be individual work. I'm part of a collective group. I'm part of a bigger community. And I have some brave colleagues who actually work in the front lines and they follow the news to actually see what's happening around the world. But I think at the same time, we need to, to stay in some area and to just let the people to feel the life of those people. And that is not possible for with a short-term project. So. Uh, when I started this project, I was not thinking I'm going to go back for years to come and follow it. But the more I get to know these people, the more I realize how much less we know about their life. And the life is not only what we see on the cover of the news and in the magazines. And uh, life goes on for them and they need help in a sense that to build that bridge between them and the people outside that they're just like us. It's just that if we are against war and we want peace, then we need to understand the situation more. Well, uh, as a photographer, since I started this project, I always knew that I have a responsibility of uh, sharing the story of these people to the world. But at this particular moment and seeing those children, I felt the responsibility even more because uh, they are actually the IDP people who are displaced inside Syria and in, is inside Ainisa camp which is uh, not far from Tabqa and Raqqa where the fighting was happening at the time. And while I was walking inside the camp, the mother actually invited me to the, to, to the camp and asked me to take photos of the children who sadly were suffering from malnutrition. She asked me if I could take these photos to the doctor or the hospital and just, she was hoping for some help. But sadly, one week after or two weeks after, I realized the children passed away. When I went back to see the mother, I couldn't look, at, look into her eyes feeling that I, I failed. I mean, that's, that's how, I think it was a moment uh, that I realized I don't have that much power that I want to have or that much she wants me to have. She only asked if I could give the photo of her children to her. So this is a moment that stayed in my head and it would stay with me for, I think, for the rest of my career because I think all the journalists and photographers, they do face some similar kind of situations. and. Uh, it doesn't mean that we fail and we just stop. It just showed me how difficult is uh, this journey that we took. And uh, it's going to be full of these moments, sadly. But I just wanted to share that, to pay respect to that family and many other children in that world. <laughs>